What is up my Hydrogen Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty World War 2. Now as of today it is now free. Yes free. This is the last COD that didn't have skill based matchmaking. And I gotta say supply drops in this game was just so bad and I kind of feel like that's why most people actually hated on this game was because of these supply drops because nobody likes supply drops now i thought this game was okay now of course there has been a lot of changes and updates in the last few months of this game uh with new stuff new items being aired in game and of course some coming from the supply drops as well now this is a good thing for cod because this is probably the closest thing we'll get to like an old school feel of a cod game now what I mean by this is with the new COD, COD 2020 being revealed or leaked as some people have been saying, it's not been confirmed that it will be set in the Cold War slash Vietnam War where there's no jetpacks, no laser guns or anything like that. It's just beautiful boots on the ground, uh, gun skill and map awareness and everything like that, no flying up in the air and all that kind of bullshit that infinite warfare and advanced warfare gave us that was just oh we won't even talk about that it's like a dark time for cod where nobody wants to talk about but everyone knows it's there kind of thing now i'll be honest this is probably going to be better than modern warfare because this game is more fun for it doesn't have skill based matchmaking which i think everyone who is somewhat decent at COD or has a common sense knows that having skill based matchmaking is absolutely stupid because you're harming the veterans that don't want to play the game and then you're helping the shit players but how come now you're only doing it but last year and a few years ago you never did it because uh, it just doesn't make sense to me personally if that was me i'd be like look it is what it is put some people that are in on their skill and then put some people that aren't so they'll have the best of both worlds so they're not kind of playing oh yeah well this guy's bad he's looking at the ground but i'm looking up i'm gonna kill him no just have somebody who will actually be good at the game as well in their lobby so they can be like fuck i need to get better this is how to do it and everything like that all that kind of shit you know like oh how to get better at card and everything like that that's what they should be doing not fucking yeah we're gonna put skill based matchmaking in because uh loads of people are just fucking brain dead idiots and they don't know how to play card and it's their first time and everything like that bitch i don't give a fuck if it's their first time throw them in that's the way it should be that's the way i was i was just thrown straight into modern warfare 2 and boom look at me now i'm famous bitch I'm not really famous, I'm sadly going to die alone on my couch. <laughs> now, the zombies in World War Two are decent, but it's not like Treyarch's COD. And the campaign is actually extremely, extremely, extremely good. And I'm going to be back playing this, hopefully. I'll probably live stream this, and I'll be playing with some of my friends and probably try to platinum this game as well. Which I've been really into nowadays. I don't know why, but I I went back and I did Modern Warfare Remastered. I platinumed that. I had um I have Rocket League platinumed. I have Minecraft platinum from God knows how long. And I'm try I'm still trying to get some more. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing. I played some Valiant Hearts and I'm like forty seven percent through that in like a day so if i can do that more if i can do some more of that then that'd be great i'm gonna try and platinum that and hopefully some other games as well i'm not really sure what other games but hopefully i can but let me just get back onto topic with world war ii you actually don't get the dlc maps you'll have to pay for them of course now however like the the original maps are just they're good and they're, all, they're probably the best ones that are actually in the game already because, I don't know, they just feel and they're better for me personally. Now, of course, there is some of them that you'd be like, oh my god, these this map is so shit. But then there's others that you're like, wow, this is, this is actually a decent map. 
and of course I, di I didn't play all of them because I didn't like them all but the majority of them I did play and I thought they were decent but yeah if you do get this game I think you'll be set up more for the old school kind of COD or the Vietnam War and Cold War setting because you can't really go back to Black Ops 2 and play that or Black Ops 1 because they're on PS3 of course if you have an Xbox you can play them but you know what I'm saying dog and really and truly skill based matchmaking should not be in the game and in any game to be honest and I'll probably have a video on that hopefully coming in the next day or two and yeah so guys this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button there should be a subscribe button you can hit that beside the subscribe button there should be a notification bell which you can click to stay up to date whenever i upload to the channel or whenever i go live on the channel which is rarely speaking of live streams i have a twitch channel that i live stream to weekly link down in the description below and you can hit the follow button there and hit the notification bell where i play uncharted apex valorant modern warfare warzone rainbow if i didn't say that and many many more i also have a twitch or twitter that i manually update as well that will be down in the link in the description below as well but yeah that is it guys hope you like your favorite subscribe and peace